Hi, and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers after two and a half hours of trying to get in here. Just as I was about to give up, I managed to get in. I've had two lots of police. I've had a fall and a dint. I've got a dint in my head and a very small cut. Um, it's been a nightmare. And if you do want to watch all that, I actually filmed it all as well. But I didn't think you'd want to include it in this video, so it's a separate video. Anyway, we're going to go in this amazing mental asylum that had torture, that had a bit of everything, to be fair. Anything bad you've ever heard about asylums happened in here. Right, you can see through the trees there. That's where we're heading. We, uh, this is part of the complex now. This building is split into two halves. This is probably the older bit. I think they're both quite old. Both, they were, one bit was extended, one bit wasn't. And I think this is the older bit. However, previously, this was the section for the criminally insane. And the other side was the section for like mental health. And although it wasn't mental health in the 1800s, that's what it was. This bit, they did experiments and on the other side as well. We should hopefully find bits of um, stuff that they used to use in here. Hopefully paperwork. It will be wrecked in parts, but I don't care because I love asylums. It's one of my favorite things to do and there's not enough of them in the UK and there's loads in Italy. This is totally different to the asylum I did the other week. This place is like, they called it something similar to what, um, Broadmoor was called, is that murder mansion? It's similar because all the murderers and lunatics that wanted to kill everybody were in here. I think there's even a cannibal that was in here at one point. So I'll try and find the stories of that in a bit though. Right, now this place has got a bad reputation, not just because of the patients, but because of the staff, because of the doctors mainly. Not the, uh, well the orderlies and stuff were, were terrible people but it was mainly the doctors the cruelty the things they did to uh, inflict pain torture just to see how the patients would react so they did things very similar to nazi germany in here with uh, testing twins so they would have twins in separate rooms and they'd like burn one of the twins and see if the other one was affected. Very, very weird stuff. Right, looks like we've got a way in. There's a chair there. I've had a nightmare with a chair already today. Actually, it was a tree I was on, but I'd just been climbing on the chair and then I had a bit of a fall. But yeah, we're in. From what I've read, this place was built in 1799 just coming into the 1800s. Now we're gonna get a lot of freaky, scary corridors like this. But I also know, look all these doors as well, they've all been, oh, Bianca Alice. So I'm guessing this was the female section then. I don't know why, when I think of asylum, in fact, look at this, what's this? When I think of asylums, I just think of men. Although when I think of Victorian ones, I do think of women. Let's go over to the sink over there and look at this. Now is this like, is it to do with heart rate? Have they died? Beep, 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 eh, beep, beep, eh. Is that what it is? Oh, what's this say? I have no idea. Even if I could understand Italian, there is absolutely no way I could read that. That's not so bad. F Vaseline something. I don't know if that's age 87 or in the year 87, like 1987. I'm not sure. But that's good. It's like medical records already. I know it's not really much of one. But it's the first room I've walked into. But yeah, you can see, these are old. These are older than Victorian. They're very high, very high ceilings. Normally like, I know they're not cells, 
But at this sort of place, they're like cells, aren't they? Like little tiny rooms. It's very echoey. Very freaky in here. Oh, look. I don't know if then. Look. These are the older style doors, aren't they, look? The little porthole that you could... Oh, look. Luigi in Mario. Could it be brother and sister? Luigi in Mario. Don't know why I've got to do it in that voice. What we've got down here? Oh, it's just plastic bags. But like, there's no bar. Wow. Well, I'm going to say there's no bars on the window. But it sort of, sort of is bars on the window, isn't it? It's just to get a bit more freedom to stick the face up against it. Imagine if I did that and somebody were looking back. That freaks me out. And you're gonna have to hold my hand a little bit on this one because it's so big. I'm scared of getting lost. I've already been here hours. I'm tired. I'm tired from climbing. I've climbed fence after fence after fence. And I know when I get like this, I find it hard to get out of places. And I do not want to be stuck in here overnight. But yeah, that definitely would have had some sort of thing to open and close. Right, God, I don't know which way to go now. Oh, I told you, it's massive, this place. I think we'll just go straight on for now. See what we can find up here. I'm not gonna, oh, bloody hell. Oh, look at that sink. That's a, a coal sink, isn't it? It's a really odd shape. It's like a, um, oh, what do you call it now? Uh, a trough, it's a bit like a trough. But I don't know why this building's any, this bit of the building's any different. Look, well, that's got glass up there, like you used to walk on it. Or maybe it's just to let light in. And then you've got whatever this is on here. Now there is a morgue in this place, I think, but it's separate. So when we get out of here, I might, oh God, my bag banged on something then. We might go and look for it. What is this bit? This door is big and this place is echoey. Hey, I wonder if. Now you won't have seen this because it was on the other video, unless you've already watched the other video. I found a tunnel that ran underneath from the other building. So I wonder if we can find the end of that. nothing. There is no noise at all. Oh, look in here. Look at these. These are like cells, aren't they? I wonder if this was like the secure unit bit. This is gorgeous. Look at the shape of it. These are like domed rooms, look. A circular domed room. All very strange. I am so freaked out right now. I don't like how quiet it is. Listen. I don't know what I did with my eyes then. I went, listen. I can hear that high pitched noise in my ear. It's that quiet. Oh, this is freaky. I can see how hefty this door was. The massive bolt lock on it. And then, not only could you not escape through that door, you've got your own door. Oh, this one's better. This one's better. It's strange, this, though. This doesn't... I wonder if it wasn't a cell. Because it's got tiles. A sink. But it could be easy for, like, dirty protests and stuff. It's just that door. Maybe this was, like, an operating... <gasps> Look, it's an operating room. These aren't cells. You'd have the thick centre. It could even be like a morgue. Or something similar. Because that's got a central thing there. 
unless that's just to drain liquid away. But I can imagine something being up on a pillar and a bed in the middle there to either operate on, to torture, or for dead people. Any of those is freaky. Now, bang opposite that one we've just come out of is this little central courtyard. You can see it, it wraps right round. It's quite an odd shape. And I wonder why they had them like this. Like, round in a loop like that. And the little thing, you see, wash your hands on the way in before you go and do whatever you're gonna do. I feel like I'm pointing down, I just think. I don't know what it is. And I know you're gonna be annoyed that I'm coming all the way back up here, but, just looking at them like that, I don't know, there's just something about it. It's definitely like a horror film. It's like something terrible has happened here. Something terrible has happened here, but it's almost like it's about to. And that's quite worrying. I just don't get what that, look, they all have got that in the middle there. Hate coming into these places when there's a door. Because I just think that's going to slam. Someone's going to shut me in here. I've told you before, my biggest fear is being trapped. Being trapped in an asylum when nobody knows you're there and left to die. Oh my God, that just sends proper chills down my spine. It really does. Right, making my way out of this bit now. Oh, I could just walk straight in here. Although this may take us to a totally different part. Is it like a central part? Oh, it feels weird in here. See, can you hear the noises now? The sounds of like the town and everything, listen. That's normal sounds. That's what you'd expect to hear, even inside this building. But you literally get just inside here and it just goes dead. The sound goes away and it's just, so, so quiet. What's happened here? Oh Lord. I wouldn't like to have uh, been stood under that when it came down. Right. Let's keep going. I was gonna go that way, but actually I found more of what looked like cells. So, although I don't, I don't think those other ones were cells. I think they were operating theatres or something. But these, these definitely look more like, yeah, this has definitely got more of a feel of a cell to it. Square, long, maybe get one or two beds in here. Little check up windows to check if they're all right. That's definitely, definitely what these are. Look, oh. This isn't there. This is huge. I don't know what this room would be used for then, but it's massive. Penis, massive penis. Right, I don't just want to show you loads of empty corridors. I do want to try and find, look at like, we were at that window a minute ago there. This is that oval bit. It just seems really odd. Just like a really odd setup, don't you think? Don't you think it's a weird way of doing it like that? Why would they do not have a straight corridor? Or is it because the rooms themselves are round and it's easy to do it that way? I just don't understand. But it looks good, but I just don't get it. Now I've just come into a lockable toilet. There's stuff in here now. I don't normally pick up things like this, because like when I'm in abandoned houses and stuff, it doesn't really, oh, there's rat skeletons here. It doesn't usually bother me, but this, oh God, there's rat skeletons all over it. But I'll try and put it somewhere so I can look at it properly. Because this isn't new, this is quite old. There is nothing to rest it on. Is there a sink in one of these? I'll put it on here. 
yeah, look at this. Look at the, I hate buttons. You know I hate buttons, but when they're attached, I don't mind so much. Yeah, look at the leather belt. I don't know, is it trousers? It doesn't seem like it's long enough for trip. Oh, it is. I'll put it on the floor. Yeah, look. They're really old with the button up bottoms like that. I'm surprised they're allowed a belt though. That's quite, quite shocking. <gasps> Oh no, I thought that were a rat, part of a rat tail then. I don't know what that is. What is that? I think it, oh no, it's not. It's whatever's in the pockets. What's this? Um, oh. oh, it's very delicate. When's it from for a start? 27.5. That looks like 26, but it's got to be 86, surely. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Hey up, mate. Where did you come from? Probably out of those trousers. Because I didn't see you before. You are a beast. Um, name. Giuseppina Bergonze. Resident uh, Sarandella. And that's the name of the road that they lived on. Um, I'm trying to see what that's the profession, but I can't read what it says. So, verbal D. Set, mm, I can't read it. I'm sure somebody will tell me what it says. Essenzia Unit Socio Sanitaria Local 44. Nothing on the back. Right, mate, we'll leave you to it. We'll keep going. Right, we've headed back up the other way. I swear I heard a cough a minute ago, but I think it might have just been my foot, like, hitting something on the floor. Um, I think this is just like the locker rooms for the, the staff. I don't know what these are, though. Loads and loads of these. Bueno Cafe 900. I'm guessing it's something to do with co coffee. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, uh, it does say, hold on. Oh, I can't look. It's, oh, there's one. There's one on its own, look. Oh, there's one. Departmento. De salute mental, unitive operator ex hospital psychiatro. And then it's patient signature date, Wano Cafe. Don't know what they were before, absolutely no idea. But, right. This place is going to be massive, I know it is. Right, so it looks like this bit up here is where they kept the records. We need to find the medical bit. I'm pretty sure there's a really good medical unit in here. I don't know enough about this place other than the crimes and the horror side. I don't know about like the modern day look of it. I just know the history side, which I prefer. But it is always good to know what's in here, and I'm not sure. Now we've come down this corridor. There's a very odd smell in here. A very odd smell. What is this room for? Sinks, there's a wheelchair around that corner. It's, I'm guessing just storage, but it's a very little pokey, horrible room. Like there's certain, oh, like this. These all different drugs. Yeah, they all look like. Oh no, it's what's wrong with them. HIV. It says on there. Tampone vaginally. <laughs> uh, I don't know then. Maybe it's medicine for each of those things. Obviously, the tampon's not medicine, but you know what I mean. I don't really know. 
These are just toilets, aren't they? And they're lockable. Oh, look. European style of toilets. I hate these toilets. If you're an American, you've probably never seen any of these. But you put your feet on there and you squat down and you have a poo. And it's one of the worst things in the world. <laughs> it really is. You get them in India and stuff like that as well. But <gasps> look at these. Right, you go for a poo and you get locked in. Oh, well, there is, looks like there's key locks on them anyway. Is it just, oh, it's showers. It's the showers. So you go for a shower and you get locked in. Bloody hell. Well, they're toilets at that end. That's all a bit crazy, isn't it? Oh, who's made this? It's a little, little tiny house. Now, it's so sad, these places. Because a lot of the time, there was nothing wrong with them. They were put in here for ridiculous reasons, especially in the Victorian era and before that. They were put in here, like, for terrible, unrelated things. Things that were, we would just class as normal today. Like, I don't know, schizophrenia is something you, you associate with places like this. But it could be just, like, epileptic fits. It could be depression, it could be anything. It could be pregnant when you're like 14, which is not great, but it happens. But you don't want locking up for the rest of your life because of it, because some of them, like I said in a previous episode, places like um, Hyroids Asylum near um, Bradford and Leeds, that place, there was people in there from the age of like 15 till they were 80. Which is crazy. Right, so we've had to move. Because we've been so long getting in here, we've had to move on to the second phone. And also, the battery on the torch is on 48%. Now, I don't know if you know, but on my second day here, I had loads of stuff taken out of the car. I had a drone stolen. I, oh God, I slipped then. I had my trainers stolen. Uh, that's why you've, you'll notice which trainers I'm in today, which is not really what I want. Um, but I also had the backup torch stolen. So if this goes, we've got two very old red torches that I've had for seven years that go off after about three or four minutes. So if this torch runs out, I'm in trouble. Now I've just come to a corridor. This one's really long. Really, really long. How creepy does it look out there? I've just come to another bit, actually, through here where you can get into another outdoor section. I'm gonna try all of those when we've been down all the corridors and had a look at it all properly. But for now, I just wanna, I just wanna check out all the rooms. Obviously, there has been other people in here, as you can see, but, I want to check out all the rooms and try and find the interesting stuff, but I don't want to show all of it to you. The only problem is, and I'll be totally honest with you, I'm sort of enjoying talking to you because I'm petrified. <laughs> I can hear my voice echoing in this bit. I can hear not a much else. And I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And the thing is, by talking to you and going in every room with you, makes me feel less alone. So, I'm sorry if I show you too much of the same thing, but it's for me. Please don't be angry at me. Right, we're still on that corridor. When I was stood talking to you then, there is a big room there that leads through. I can feel draft coming through there. But I've also just come to this, which takes us upstairs. Now, it looks like there's potentially more stuff up here. And there's also things like this around the edge to stop them throwing each other off. So, what is this? Yeah, look, that's medical, in it? That's to hang, like, um, that fluid that goes in you. What's this say? Solo limontagen uh, suero posto. I don't know what any of that means. I don't know. Oh, now there is loads, there's loads of records and stuff up here. When are they from? Or oh, when's this one from? I can't remember. 
Uh, any dates anywhere? No. From what I can see. Oh, 1979, year I was born. So, does it? No, it's just names and stuff. It's nothing else really on there. Now, there is probably going to be stuff under. Ooh, what's that? Poison thing. There is probably going to be other stuff on here that's interesting. This. Questions about psychiatric stuff. Yeah, there's loads down there, look. Loads of files and things. But I just want to get upstairs. And if we can't find anything else, then at least I can come and have a look at them. I'm breathing heavily because I heard something. I think it might be, it must have been outside, outside this window. Because I can hear stuff again outside in here and I couldn't before. So I don't know if it was just a bird or something. I heard something moving about. I'm not gonna lie, I was, I was very freaked out. Because everything's been so quiet, this is the thing. When you go from being dead, dead quiet to hearing noises, that's when you need to worry. That's the scary bits. So therefore, I heard that, I panicked. But I came straight towards it. I didn't run away from it. Because I think it's easy just to go, oh, God, I'm not staying around here. But I think it's better to investigate. Meet it head on. Go and do what you need to do. And if it's something scary, then, then run away. <laughs> I'm definitely getting myself lost. I have no idea where I am. I've gone round and round in circles. This is a cool door. It's been broken open at some point. But it looks like it's got like all different locking systems and stuff on it. Or it did. That's been dragged on the floor there as well. That's worrying, isn't it? Anyway. I'm just, at the moment, I'm literally walking at this speed to cover as much ground as I possibly can to try and find all the best things. But because it's so big, look, what people, what's been dragged around in here on the floor? What is that all about? Now, like I said before with asylums, it's actually really difficult to find out who was in places like this. Um, some do, some tell you, like British ones on Wikipedia it tells you, but like the historical ones, not so much. There was a guy called Giuseppe that was in here, and he committed some horrendous crimes, similar to the, um, not the Yorkshire Ripper, Jack the Ripper, like prostitutes and things like that, and m like gruesome murders, and he was in here in round about the 1850s, and it all sort of like falls in line with things that I've grown up learning about, like Jack the Ripper. Did I ever tell you that the Yorkshire Ripper came to my mum's house the year before I was born, just before, oh, it might have been the year I was born, just before he was caught in Sheffield, he knocked on my mum's door and said, oh, I'm here to sort out the washing machine. And she was like, my, my husband's not told me anything about it, he'll be back in five minutes, um, and pushed the door shut. And then, a week later, I spoke to my dad, my dad knew nothing about it at all. Um, anyway, a week later, he got caught in Sheffield. And uh, obviously, my mum saw him on telly and were like, that's the guy, that's the guy that came to my door. And if he had got hold of my mum and done something to her, I wouldn't be here. I think these old doors are my favourite ones with the proper like, round holes and stuff. I normally, I normally avoid bathrooms. But I just walked past this one and I thought, is this not the creepiest bath you've ever seen? Oh, there's stuff in here. But yeah, and all that coming down there looks pretty creepy. What we got down here? Seems to be quite a lot of more recent notes and stuff. Oh, this is 1980, by the looks of things. Um, capsule, 50 milligrams. Oh, I don't know, what, what's wrong with them? 1988. 43,000 lira. It's to do with what medicine they've been on now, which is cost by the looks of things. Oh, 1989. But yeah, there's a few bits in there. Right. We need to go and find, I reckon we might need to go up another floor here. Yeah. Right. Oh my Lord. <gasps> Look in here. 
It's not very safe, is it? It's another one of those big porthole windows as well. What's down here? Hmm. It's like someone's been ripping wiring and tiles out. Right, we'll make our way through that way then. Right, I've come across the first mattress and these are like proper prison blankets. Like itchy wall things, they're awful. But yeah, we've got to head back again through that awful room. There's nothing in here. I really want to find the stuff I'm looking for. Right, I've just come across this. Obviously it's a ladder up to the attic. I've got to be careful that it doesn't smash down. Coming down slowly. Kick the door. Right, we're on our way up to the attic. Attic of an asylum. Oh, I wonder what used to go off up here. Oh, Jesus, this is not very stable. I know that. I don't think there'll be very much up here, but I do like, you know, I like climbing up things like this. Oh. It's just the top of the lift. There's nothing exciting. It does go up again there. I may as well climb up now and have a look. But I think that's all it is, just the top of the lift. Oh, I got excited then. It's just like the maintenance room. Maintenance? The maintenance room, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, top of the lift. And then what's up here? Oh, a window. That were a bit pointless then, weren't it? Right, back down we go. You'll never believe what's just happened. I just put my hand on the wall. Didn't look where I was putting it. The light's working here. I suppose it's joined on to next door, but I didn't expect them to work at all. That's madness. Anyway, I'm turning it off before it gets, oh, I can't really get seen in here, can it? Thank God. Right, back down. You won't believe it in here. Like, getting rid of records. I've never seen anyone do it this way. Look at this. These are piles and piles of medical records. All that have been burnt. Absolutely loads of them. There are still like quite a lot in one piece, especially if you, when you start lifting them up, you get a lot more whole ones. But look at the room. Look how many there is. That's absolutely madness. Let's have a quick look out this window while we're here. <gasps> look at all that. Now, I've been looking for medical stuff. I don't think this is it though. But everything's been dumped out of that window. That's madness. It doesn't really look like the stuff that I've been looking for though. But look at this, look over there. How creepy does that look? And that's where we were, the other side of that water tower is where we were looking through. That, In fact, that light there is where we were stood. But that is unbelievable. What waste. What waste of stuff, of like loads and loads of stuff. And then, I can't get over this. The medical records just piled up. I bet you any money this has been done by the local government or whatever. They're like, yeah, let's get rid of them. What's the best way of doing it? Oh, I'm not gonna sit here all day and uh, and shred them all. Let's just burn them all. I definitely think that's what's happened here. What's this one? Uh, 1978, I think, that one. But, yeah, there's, there's loads. Oh, look. 
That's a bit of medical equipment there. Look. I don't know what it's for. Yeah. I wonder if there's any really old medical reports in here. Like, I doubt there'll be any from like the 1700s. There might not even be any from the 1800s, but there should be not early 1900s. Oh, look. These ones didn't make the fire. What's this say then? Fermi del Pom Pomeriggio. Fermi de Martino. I don't know what that means. I'd like to know. I don't know if it's about individual people. Well, this one looks like it is. Yeah, look. Albertin Drahi. All different things, all different people. This is people's lives. Some of these people might be alive. That's like 1980 something, 1985. These people could still be alive. And all the medical records are just thrown about. It just doesn't make sense. What is this one? Luca Meschini. Tells you where he lives. When he was born, 1956. What sport? Baseball? What? I'm just, I'm just a bit confused by some of these things in here. Anyway, we'll keep looking. I'm really hoping all the medical stuff, because it's a, it's a travesty. If they've thrown everything out there, we'll try. There is a door over there. Let me have a quick look. Yeah, the door downstairs open. So we will go out have a look at all that lot and see if there is any sort of medical stuff in there but it was all set up so I don't know if it's the same bit right so we were right up there I didn't think it was medical stuff down here it's not as far as I can see it's like office furniture and if that's the case although that's like a medical beddy type thing but if that's the case, the rest of it must still be in there somewhere. I don't think you understand how big it is. This is one very small section of it. Very small section of it. Now, if you remember as well, when we were around the other side and I was looking, there's, there's a cellar somewhere. But how you get to that, I don't know. But this is just like cupboards and chairs and... What are they? Snooker cues? They're just poles of random sorts, so the medical, medical equipment's somewhere still. But anyway, I've got to be careful up here because I don't know if I'm walking straight towards the other half. I was going to say then, I think I've found the medical equipment, but I'm not sure if I have. Because I think that's... Is that not just a photocopier? That looks medical. I know, Fujix, that's a copier in it. But some of this, oh, Pro Sound 5000. So it does look potentially like some of the stuff has been taken out. What is that? Is it an ironing board? That's what it reminds me of. But that's definitely medical. That there is definitely medical. So it's looking like they're trying to sort of potentially save some of those. But anyway, keep going round. Like I said, I'm very aware that I'm in a bit, I don't know where I am. Right, there's a blackboard in there with something written on it. I didn't see that room, but also there's definitely the cellars there underneath where I've just been. So I don't really know where I need to go to get to them. There's, uh, I just don't know. There's another part of the building just bang opposite here as well. It is so big. I literally could be in here for days and not be able to find my way back out again because I've got no clue where I am in comparison to anything else. It's starting to freak me out a bit, that, because it, it's almost like a form of being trapped, but on a, big, a lot bigger scale. Well, I'll find my way out, but 
I don't want to be here for hours and hours. I've just been wandering around for such a long time. Right, I've made it in to the next part of the building. I've not been in this bit before. And I know that because the lift shaft's there, a different one, because I could see, when I was in the other one, I could see where the one was up near the top. This one's not as high up. However, it's proved to me there is a, a cellar. There is a cellar, definitely, look. So we're on the ground floor. If I look down there, there's another door. So how do I get down to the cellar? Or do you think the only way down to it is via the lift? And obviously I can't, I can't get down there on the lift. But how do you get down? There's gotta be a way. There's some more stairs there. I just don't know. Right, I've briefly I've just popped through this room to come back outside again. Let's pop my head around. It looks like there's a big archway around there. And I haven't seen that while I've been walking around. So does this take me into a bit of the building I haven't seen so far? Now look. Is there a gate in that bit? Can't tell. This looks like a church. Hey, look, there's something shining over there. You see it? It's a reflection of my torch, isn't it? There's a bell tower there. I wonder if this is the church. You can get through there. The gate's open. Oh, let's go down here. Oh, God, it's a bit awkward. It's all tripping over. The stuff as you're going through. Oh, this is a bit... Freaky. Oh God, this is hard work. It's because my legs are tired and they're just not lifting up like they were before. Wait a minute. Oh no, it's not the cellars, is it? What is this bit? Look at that little sink. This feels even older in here. <gasps> It's ash. It's all ash. I'm confused. What the hell? There's been no fire in here. Because if they're hard, they look like church windows to me. If they're hard, it'd be a state. I don't know though. Because it looks like that's been on fire. But the heat to turn all that into white ash. Look at that. That must have been absolutely scorching. It's not just, it's not even left anything. It's just white ash. The whole room. Oh my Lord. Looks like there's hand and footprints on that wall where someone's been scrabbling trying to get out. That has baffled me. Where do we get to now? If we go down further. This is definitely feels older, this bit. Definitely. There's oh, another big set of gates there. What a weird little bit. Because that takes you outside. That takes you into the central courtyard. Very strange. Right. Making our way through further into the outside bit towards buildings we've not even seen. Massive buildings that we've not been anywhere near. Which makes me think, how much have we missed? And how much time is it gonna take to get round everything? And I'm just gonna have to cherry pick now. Oh, this is like arched as well. Another big arch here. With big gates on it. That's not freshly sealed. <gasps> Those are wing scales. Don't know, just things seem different in here, in this bit. Oh, wait. oh, I thought that was stairs down then. Look, oh my God. Bearing in mind we're in a totally different building again. It's massive. This whole place is 
huge. I'm going to be so lost. That's locked. I'm, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to get out of here. Kind of freaking out a little bit. I don't like it. I don't like that I can't get out. Right. I'll, I'll find something for you. Right, we've now come to this weird bit. It's a sort of outside. Look. But it's like a, a covered walkway. <gasps> Hey, up is that? Are we at that back gate? I'm a bit worried where we are here. Yeah. I don't just want to walk into some actual impatience. That would be quite worrying. But a lot of these bits up here look different. Like that bit at the top there, that gallery bit. Maybe this is where I need to be. So you remember where that light was on? And I said I thought somebody was in there. That's where we are. Right at the front of the building. So we'll back off slowly. Go and have a look up these stairs. Although, let's have a look down here first. See if there's anything. Exciting. Oh, that electrics is on. I'm scared I'm going to walk into a, a live ward here. This has definitely got a different feel to it, this bit. This is a lot newer. Look. Look at the ceilings. Is that a safe? It's got a key in it. In that. Wow. Right. I've got to be careful because if there is somebody in there, they're definitely going to see my torch if I'm not careful. He says as he points it directly at it. It's like a padded door. Weird, it's padded on the outside though. floor tiles in this bit they're really really good which makes me think this was maybe for the I want to say the governor but it wouldn't be the governor the guy in charge anyway of the place I reckon he might have stayed in this bit it just goes on and on I, I don't the thing is I've not showed you a tenth of this place that I've seen I'm tired I'm exhausted from walking around I don't know I want to show you really good stuff and show you as much as I can, but I also don't want to bore you with showing the same sort of things over and over again. So, it's a case of me just like legging it round. Oh, I've got to be careful. I'm right at the front. Right, let's go upstairs again and try and get to that gallery bit. See on this, they've got all coloured glass. So if the patients were in here, were in here they wouldn't have glass like that that it could be broken easily. So I don't think this was accessible to him. Or if it was, it was a different sort of patient. I don't know, where is that gallery bit? Is this it? This is a balcony. Yeah, it's here, look. Oh, this is all a bit odd, this bit. What is this about? It's like a, a wash house. What a weird thing to put here. Very strange. Not what I thought it was going to be at all. Look, all coloured glass in there as well. But yeah, you'd be able to look down and survey what was going down in the courtyard below. Right, so I found this little toilet. Which is nothing exciting, it's just a little toilet. But then I noticed the padlock next to it. And this is boarded up and screwed shut. 
This is the access to the cellars. I've just, you can't really see anything, but I can sort of tell. I shoved my phone in there and the torch, and you can see it sort of drops away. You can't really see much else, but that's the access to the cellars. And they definitely don't want you going down there because they've made sure of it. I just wonder if there's any other way in. Because look, it's like literally, it's right there. I really wish we could get in, I really do. We've got a big problem. We're on 3% battery on the torch. I have got some mini TikTok torches. Say that fast. I've got some mini TikTok torches in the bag. And I've got these big red ones that we used to use back in the day that were really good. But the batteries are just gone on them now. They don't work anymore. Oh, there's a big great thing there to get down to the cellar. But I bet it's... Even if you did get down, you'd probably not get back up again. Let me have a look. Oh, you probably could, you know. Let me just see if I can shift this. Absolutely no chance. That's like welded in position. You just cannot move that at all. Just give it a right good tug and it just won't go anywhere. Oh, I am gutted because I, do, I would love to go down there. I really would. That's for me, but that is loud. No, I think it's going away. Might be an ambulance, that actually. But that scared me. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that really scared me. Right, let's make our way. Oh, I don't know what. There's a big gate up there. Stones round there. This place just goes on and on forever and ever. I don't think we'll ever get to the end of it. I think the next 12 weeks worth of videos is just going to be this place because I'm just going to be wandering around forever. Oh wow, look what I found in here. Now there is another room next door that seems to be locked up. I don't know what these machines are. Oh, dialysis machine, is it that? Maybe. I'm not 100% sure what they are. What else we got over there? Anything? Oh, some chairs. There is a. I've just noticed something. I'll have to turn my light off a minute. That's the bit that's in use. Right there. Right in front of us. So I'm going to have to be mega careful. Right. He says as he turns his big torch on, saying that it's got 1% on it, so it'll be gone in a minute. I'm going to try and get this door open. So it doesn't appear to be screwed shut, it's just wedged. Now I've managed to get it open a bit and it's down to the cellars. But I can't see what's stopping it, stopping it opening. There doesn't appear to be anything stopping it. Is it that? Oh yeah. Oh, that bit of metal there. It's screwed into position, so you can't open it. Bloody hell. Right, I'm going to turn the torch off. I just hope it comes back on again in a minute. I'm just going to walk across here in the darkness. To see what, oh God, I don't like it if I'm being honest. See, I can't even use my phone torch. What is this? I'm going to have to put it on. What is that? That is bizarre. It's like it'd have Mary in it. I've just got to be really careful. Look how close we are here. But I want to get as much covered as possible. Oh, wait a minute. Is this bit used? This bit might be used. I think it might be. Oh, bloody hell. I better get out of 
like this bit. Wait a minute though, that goes down some steps. Can you get into the cellars this way? I just don't want to look through someone's bedroom window. Oh god, I'm scared. This takes you down to the cellars, I think. But I bet it's locked up. There's the stairs down, look. There's a door in that corner. Oh, I think it's open. Let's get out of this bit quick. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Quick, quick, quick. I hope this don't get me to the cellars underneath the live bit. Because I can hear noises in here. Although it might just be a generator. Oh no. No, no. No. What's in here? It's just a storage cupboard. Oh, I'd done it then. Right, the bit that we've just walked underneath and came out. Oh, wait now. What? Now we're back where we were a minute ago. I think. Yeah, we're back. We're back where we've just come from. I checked that. I think. No, we've not been here. Look, look at this. No, we've definitely not been here. Look at this well. This is good. Oh, it's been filled. Oh no, it's just been capped. It's been capped. So it will still be a well underneath there. And look. You bastard. Yeah, there. That's where it'd all come running out. You come and get your drink. That's good. Now it confused me because I've just seen a way down to the cellar like I was looking at a minute ago. But I've definitely not been on here because, in fact, where does that even go? Let's look at that first. Then we'll come back. Now, how this is still on 1%, I don't really know. But also, what is this? This looks like a church. A Nazi church by the looks of things, but a church all the same. I didn't see this building a minute ago. So it does look like a church. There's steps up there, but it looks locked. I just don't know how to get into this middle bit now. Right, I'm going to have to go back this way to get to it. Yeah, there's a very locked door on there. I certainly do not want you getting in there. So I wonder if it's like a church in really good condition or something. We'll walk round it. Right, so I've just been looking underneath the building that looks like a church. And it looks like there's corridors and rooms and things down there. But I don't know how to get to it. Are we back? Oh, there's a wheelchair there. Are we back where we were with the grill? No, we're not. Oh, this place is just like a maze. I'm telling you now. So when we walked, it's got to be a church, look. If we walked on here, yeah, we haven't. Look, these are the big main doors. Must be in good condition in here. Look. <gasps> Wait. Wait one minute. <gasps> Look what we found. This is where the torch goes when I need it the most. Oh my lord. Like literally. <gasps> I'm gonna try and show you as quick as I can before the, the battery goes. I'm guessing that, oh no, that's the way out. I wonder if we can get to the cellars from in here. Look at that. I'm sorry I'm going round fast. Especially after I've been so slow going round a lot of the other places. But I just didn't even know this was here. Oh my lord. People have been looking for ways down, look. That's what that is. 
Oh, I'm burning stuff. Look up there. Look up there. Ave gratia plenia dominus tecum. Oh, this is amazing. This is so good. That's that door at the back we we're just looking at. Couple of cupboards. How did he get up here to talk to him? He must have had like a little thing to stand on. Oh. Even this torch isn't good enough to light it up in here. Look at the ceiling. That's that again that I still can't remember how to say. It's like L'Oreal, but it means um, trick of the eye or whatever. So how do you get to the cellar from in here then? If the cellar's underneath it? I thought somebody had tried to get through there, but here, there's more, look. Wow. Oh, I'm so glad I've managed to get in here. How do we get up there? What? There's no way to get anywhere. Oh, look. Imagine them all coming in here. Would it just be the staff or would it be the patients as well? Because I can imagine them singing choir, like choir songs in here. I know that's horrible, I know that's awful, but... You can... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Right, I've put the big red... I shouldn't do really, because if it runs out, we're dead. But I've put that up there just to light it up a bit. Let's put it on 0.5. Oh no, it's too grainy. Yeah, look. Look at that. Beautiful is that, the workmanship, and it's just been left to go to rack and ruin. And it's just beautiful, it's so beautiful. I wish I could light them all up the same for you, but I literally, I cannot risk it with the torch. I just wanted you to see this one, because I think it's the best. It's amazing. I just, I just don't understand, this torch has been on 1% for 20 minutes now. It's like Winnie Carr. Like it says it's run out of fuel and it still goes for another 40 miles. That's what this torch is doing. Yeah, look. I just wanted to show you the ceiling because I've not really shown it properly. Let me turn round. Oh, and this, look, on the floor. Turn round. You can see it the right way up, look. With the crown and I don't know what that is supposed to be underneath it. But look at that, it's all painted. Right down to there. It's amazing, it's so good. But like I said, the thing I don't understand is, how do you get up there? Literally, how do you get up there? And how do you get underneath the place? Now I have found something weird. There's a pulley system, which doesn't appear to go down, or it might have done at one point. I'm guessing it goes up, I can't really see. I'm guessing it does. Yeah, I just took a quick photo to have a look myself, but yeah, so I'm guessing something was passed up to whoever was upstairs. And there's something else being covered up there as well. But for what reason, I, I just do not know. One thing I'm just going to quickly try and do is get up above us here. See if there's a way to get directly above where we are now. And if there is, we're about to get into this little bit. Right, this bit we're in is in the worst state I've seen so far. Look at these rooms. They're like pitted. I don't know if they were had floorboards or something over the top, but also look at this. See those arch things over there? That's because we're on top of the cellar. It's directly below us here. And all the bricks have been taken off. And we're directly over the arched bit of the cellar ceiling. But once again, I don't know if we'll be able to get down to them. And it, look, goes off in different directions as well. Oh, I really would love to get down. What is all this? I think this is all a bit odd, this, this section. It's like proper gutted and different to the rest. And it's like, the floors have been removed. Like, look at the extent of the cellar. You can tell where it is by these arched bits and it's all over. 
which means there's a runway of passages. Hey, up, wait up, wait up. Wait one minute. Oh, I'm so tired, my legs aren't working. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought that possibly went down to the cellar then, but it doesn't. That's just full of plants from outside. Hmm. Right, I've managed to get us up on one of the upstairs balconies with the torch still on 1%. However, I don't know. Oh God, I don't know if this will take us to where we need to be or not. <gasps> oh, this is different. I'm a bit worried why things are here like this. Oh, he says as he climbs straight over it without a care in the world. This is the church. That's the church. Because that's the well there, look. Oh, we've done it. We've found the upstairs bit. This is cool though, isn't it? I wonder if there's a bell up there or there has been a bell up there at any point. Oh, and there's the ladder to get up. I don't know if my arms are strong enough at the moment. I don't know whether I can even try. Yeah, look. We're back here. That is very impressive. Very impressive place. And look, you can see the ceiling better now as well. Oh, the echo in here and the, the windows. Oh, really good. I'm just going to try and get a photo from up here. I don't think it'll be very good though. Ah, look. That says St. Teresa di Bambino Gesù. Oh, and baby Jesus. St. Teresa and baby Jesus. It'll say it over all of them, but I can't see the ones further up. I'll have a look at this one. So echoey. What's that say? Ark. No, I can't read that. It's not Joan of Ark, is it? Ark. Oh no, Archangel Gabriel. Sorry, sorry, Gabriel. You do look a bit like a woman. I'm not gonna lie. I can't, I can't see the others there. But it's, uh, imagine the sermon when he's booming his voice and you can hear it. Oh, it's so good. Because that behind him is, it's like that to amplify his voice. It's to make it echo, to make you be able to hear it. Make you hear the word of the Lord. Anyway, we'll carry on this way and see. Oh, do I do it? Or do I not? It's a long way up that. Oh. Right, so I've come back out, just to try and look what's in there. There doesn't appear to be anything in there anyway. I just don't want to risk it, because I've done my shoulder, and I'm tired. I don't want to risk falling down right at the last minute. I wish I'd got the drone and I'd come in the day, though. Although it wouldn't be as spooky in the day. It's so more atmospheric. I've used that word a lot recently, atmospheric. But I've noticed you can get across that side, so I wonder where that goes. Right, okay, guessing we can't go that way. Although I think you can get round the other way. Where are we here? I don't know. I actually thought this is where we were down here a minute ago. And I said, oh, I bet we're at the other side of that gate. But I don't think we are. I have no idea. Right, talking about getting out of here, we need to get out of here. Just after I said that, and I've been putting that torch over there, a man shouted and came round that corner. So we, I'm going to go across here. See if I can get down the other way, because he'll know which way I'm going. But I think we need a fast exit. I don't know where I'm going, though. Right, we're back in a new bit, like we were when we first started, which gives me hope for getting out of here now. I know. Oh, no, we haven't been in here. There's a bed there. We haven't been in this bit at all. No. It's a case of rushing to get out, but one, we're on the wrong floor, so I need some steps, some stairs to get down. And two, I don't think we've been in here. This is another new building. Oh, Lord. Oh, I don't know. I feel like I've been down there. That's where we're going next. Oh, look. Thank God for that. 
I've never seen, been happier to see burnt stuff in my life. We've been here before. Although we've been here halfway through the explore. So we've still got to find our way back. So we're back at the bit with all the stuff. But we were up there when we first saw it. So I don't know if this is the right way or not. I ain't got a clue. But we just have to keep going. Thing is, this phone battery is now on 5%. So I'm worried. Anyway, we're uh, back in another one of these courtyardy bits. But it actually feels like we've been here. No! That's the church. Oh, bloody hell. We're just walking in circles, man. Oh, we have definitely not been down here. Because what the hell is that? It's like a giant meatball in a, in a big bowl. <laughs> but no, we haven't been here before. I can see lights up here. I can see lights from the cellar. What? Where are we here? But if there's lights in the cellar, does that not mean we're near the bit where people are? This is ridiculous. This is purely ridiculous. I keep checking those grills to see. That's the one we came and looked at earlier. We were here earlier. We were definitely here earlier. I'm gonna try through there. Oh, did we not walk through this? I am confused. I'm so confused. I'm so lost. Fucking hell was that? That was something thrown. Either that or a bird's just died. What the fuck I have gone? something heavy that fell down that wasn't just a a little twig falling down fucking hell on fire oh no i know where we are i know exactly where we are that's the cellar door this is the entrance it is tempting to just go to the front door and ask him to let me out but i can't do that bloody hell i'm just sneaking towards this front gate just to make sure there's no other way of getting out this way now if I could climb up those bars and over there I could get out anyway this is the front of the building that you've not had a chance to see I am pulling myself here but it's got to be done to get caught and be escorted out but then part of me thinks the police are called I'm in trouble aren't I um, where do I get if I go through that door no it's not worth it let's go back no way you'll never guess what I've just found so this is a mirror image of where we've just been. Now the thing is, I'm going down here, but I'm not going down far because we've seen how far these, these go. There's one way in and one way out. And I'm not getting lost down here. But I'm telling you something. I bet it's bloody freaky down here. I've been wanting to get down here all this time and now I'm down here. I don't want to be down here. Like, there's nothing in the rooms anyway. It's all storage. Yeah, look, it's all storage and stuff. I'm gonna quickly, 
spend two minutes walking up here. Oh God, look at that. Big door thing on there. Some of the rooms are massive, you know. Goes down even further. But, right, you don't want to walk. You don't want to watch all of this. So, give me a minute. Right, I've come round one corner. I'm not going round any more. Because once I start doing that, that's when I'm going to get lost. So I'm going into this little bit here. Just to see what's in here. And then, look. That goes for miles up there. Miles and miles. That's like a cell door, like we're upstairs. What's this bit? Sink in here. See, there's not a great deal. There's some old, quite old bottles. I don't think they're that old, actually. And that one's going to stop her. Right, I know I've just said it. I know I've just said, that's the one and only turn I'm making. I'm going to go down here quickly. Just see where we get to, and then that is it. I promise you, that is it. Now, I don't know if you've noticed the little train tracks down here. That was to move stuff around the place. Now, I know in... Oh, look. Oh, that must be into the new bit. I can't go up there. Does that not freak you out a bit though? It does me. Where that'd take me. Where I'd pop out. But it goes for miles in that direction. And miles in that direction. Oh look. Must be a big sliding door on here as well. But I can't. I can't go any further. I cannot. I want to. Maybe straight on. Oh wait. I've got to. Because I think I can see something up here. I might not be able to. Oh, wait. No way. You can get into the main building from here. We'll go up there in a minute. That'll help. As if I've missed that. Oh, no, I thought it was the little train thing then. The little cart. Now, what I was going to say is, in the ones in Britain, they use these to transport... Look at that bath. There's been more interesting stuff down here than there is up there. That's an old bath. But yeah, they used to transport the dead um, from place to place. So they'd take them out to the chapel or they'd take them to the morgue along these. I don't feel so bad now because I can go straight upstairs. So I'm just gonna look around a couple of these corners and just see if there's anything exciting but then we do need to get back to where we were what is that hey i wonder if i wonder if that's into the church wait a minute i would like oh look some more stairs there where do they go i'm getting myself very lost very fast yeah look they've put a floor over that That stops you. I'm freaking myself out here. Why am I doing this? I don't really remember which direction I've come from, but I just wonder if that. Oh God! Oh my God! I'm falling. has gone so I've just put this one on my phone just until I can get something else out to use because I don't want to drain my phone's battery any more than I need to what should I use should I use big red until that runs out yeah I think I probably should right, I'm just gonna stop you a minute right I've not been in here before I've come the wrong way. Oh my God, I've come the wrong way. Oh, 
Oh, thank God for that. We've been in here. We've been in here before. I bet there's some interesting stuff knocking about underneath that lot. But I have not got the time or the battery to, to hang around and look. We came from the, yes, that's the thing that I thought was the, the cart. Right, further up. Oh, bloody hell. What do I do to myself? I am panicking now. I've gone from, oh, these are those stairs. I've gone from relatively calm but tired to now I feel wide awake, but I'm also panicking my arse off. What is wrong with these stairs? They're all falling to pieces. I'm walking up them. Where are we now? I don't even know where we are. Like we've not seen. That's a big mincer. No, we've not seen any of this. Bloody hell, where are we? Oh! Those white stones. We must be near the church. Oh, wait. That means we could probably get under the church. I can't. I can't, Matt. Matt, stop being stupid. Where's the church? Where's the church? That's not the church. How can I lose a fucking whole building? I swear these white stones were near the church. It's the only ones I've seen. Oh my Lord, I am so lost. Something made up a noise at where? And there's water running over there. Is water. Can you hear it? Is somebody walking? I don't know if it's water or someone walking. But what I've just worked out is. If the light's coming from over there, we need to be in the opposite direction. But that noise is freaking me out now. And there were a bang up at this side as well a minute ago. So I want to go towards it. over here. Please tell me you can hear that. Just a tennis ball there. What the fuck is that noise? It sounds like water. We walked around here earlier on. There was no running water. What the hell? It's getting louder. Fucking hell, I don't like this. It's probably only water, but... Right. My uh, interest in the water noise is gone. My interest in fucking getting out of here is fast approaching. But we need to head in the opposite direction from the light, which I don't, I don't know which way it was now. Is the light that way? Oh no, we've just been in here. 
school of infirm professionale. What? We've just been here. I've just walked down here once. <sighs> My God. I'm not kidding, when, like, I'm not putting this on. I'm not making it seem like I'm really scared. I don't like this. Look, look. Oh, you can't see. Look. We've just walked past here once. This is like bloody Scooby-Doo. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you to it a minute. Or leave me to it. What is that? I don't care what that is. Go. Right, I found a door to my outside. Oh, but that goes to the end of the building. But I actually think we're not far away. Because I seem to remember thinking, you oh, know, there's a there were a door open there. I didn't need to climb through the window. So I think it might be up here somewhere. Please, please, please be up here somewhere. Oh yes, yes. Oh, thank God for putting your name on there. We're going in the right direction. That was one of the ECG things, someone else's name. And we came in somewhere. Oh, I climbed through this. I remember climbing through this. Oh, wait a minute. Did I get in here? Yes, I did. Yes, I did, because when I climbed, that almost fell off. Oh, thank God for that. I don't think you'll ever see me more relieved to be out of a window. I'm going, I'm out of here. I'm so tired, I'm so tired. It's half past four, I think. It might even be later than that. It's half past four when I looked. Might be near five now. Right, I'm out and on the way back to the car. I'm not going to say anything else. I'm so tired and this video has been so long. I hope you've enjoyed it because it's been epic and I've proper enjoyed most of it being this tired. Like my legs aren't working anymore. They're dragging all on the floor. I've got no hotel to go to tonight. I'm sleeping in the car and I've got no way of charging anything up. Absolute nightmare. But here's what it is. Right. Love you all. I'll see you soon. And thanks for watching. It does mean a lot, you know.